For many of those heroes who aren't so lucky to be heading home just yet, traveling can be daunting and expensive, especially when extended hospital stays are involved. But a new program is working to make things a little easier. 11 News reporter Sheldon Dutels tells us about Hotels for Heroes. Spike Schnitzer has served our country in the Army, Navy, and Air Force. And although he's never been severely injured, he knows the toll it has on military families. When I was a kid, I can remember one of our neighbors lost an arm. And uh, when he had to go all the way over to Walter Reed, it, it was a major or, uh, catastrophe. You know, to have to get him over there and then get him back. But under a new national program, Spear Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger and Senator Ben Cardin, the families of wounded servicemen and women would have an easier time being close to loved ones while they undergo treatment far away from home. The Hotels for Heroes program would allow people to donate their hotel reward points to injured servicemen and women and their families. It fills a void and allows us all to feel good about helping our veterans who are returning with their families being able to, to see them in their medical needs are met. This program is the answer. Marriott International, which is headquartered here in Maryland, was the first hotel to agree to the Hotels for Heroes program. The Wyndham Hotel Group and American Hotels and Suites have also agreed to participate. Wyndham already plans to donate 10 million of their reward points, which will be able to provide at least a thousand room nights. The program is the result of a bipartisan bill that passed in December. It's very similar to the National Hero Miles program, which donates free round-trip flights to wounded servicemen. And Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger hopes this new program enjoys the same success. Once we got it started, the frequent flyer miles are still coming in, and we haven't had to market or say anything. Uh, these, they keep coming in because the American public wants to help our wounded warriors. They want to help our troops who put their lives in the line for this country. Now, the Hotel for Heroes program goes into effect Memorial Day weekend, and organizers hope many more hotels will join the partnership. In Harbor East, Sheldon Dutas, WBAL, TV 11 News. Here's a look at some of our other top stories at this hour. An 84-year-old woman is recovering in a Baltimore hospital.